Hey guys, today I'm going to show you red flags that I look for in NFT projects before investing. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. All right, so just to preface, I have been doing NFTs for some time now, and I'm very happy to say that I have made over six figures flipping NFTs. However, it didn't come easy, and I actually got burned a lot of times losing tens of thousands of dollars. So I have been a part of many communities, those that are really awesome and have taught me a lot in the space and others that haven't been so great and were almost rug pulls or scams. So today, hopefully I can teach you what I've learned without you losing money like I did. So the most important aspect when investing in NFTs, it is the team behind the collection. It is very significant because they're the ones who carry out the roadmap or vision of the community. So again, the team is the most important aspect that I research before investing in these collections. And here are some red flags that I look for before investing. The number one red flag that I see in the space are undocked teams, meaning we don't know who the creator or team behind the collection is. It's very worrisome because I don't know who I'm giving my money to. Wait a minute. And if they're even capable of executing the roadmap or plan uh, for the collection. So again, this is very sus to me because I need to just blindly trust someone with my money and just hope that they can execute on what they said they will do. So a problem that I have with anonymous creators is that they're able to rug pull or scam people very easily since nobody's holding them accountable after they make their millions of dollars. The next major red flag that I see are when people don't smash a like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now that that's done, let's continue. The next red flag that I look for are teams that don't have good communication with the community or are not transparent. Essentially, the community is the most important asset of the team and in a space with a lot of scams or rug pulls, you want the team to make it easy for investors to fund the project. Personally, I like to invest in projects that do frequent announcements and give me at least weekly updates as to what the team is working on or what I can look forward to. I really learned the importance of transparency from the Roboto collection. They do a really great job there updating us frequently. The next major red flag that I look for are teams that kick people out for asking simple questions or fudding the project. And for those of you who don't know, FUD stands for fear, uncertainty, doubt. And when you're fudding a project, that means you're saying negative things about it. So personally, I think that this is a major red flag as it shows that the team may be a bit incompetent and can't handle adversity. The NFT space is honestly very high pressure, very stressful and high, high intensity. So when teams can't handle simple things such as questions or bits of FUD, it really shows that they might not be capable of holding out for the long term. And despite there being a lot of new people in the NFT space, I will say that there are also a lot of intelligent people who get banned from Discord servers because they're asking difficult questions. Honestly, you want genuine founders behind a collection and if they don't know an answer to your question, they will simply come out and put their ego aside and say, I don't know, instead of saying, you don't know what you're talking about and kicking you out of the Discord channel. The fourth red flag I see is when the team's main goal is to raise the floor price as opposed to actually building out an infrastructure for the collection. The founders just made probably over a million dollars from their mint and they're gonna use it to artificially inflate the floor price by just saying either delist or we're gonna sweep the floor instead of building out something worthwhile for the long term. A project that burned me and taught me this lesson was a project called Zero X Vampires. Essentially one of their big catalyst moves were to sweep the floor and they kept announcing it to the whole collection and it did artificially bump up the price and raise it quite a bit actually. However, in the long term, now my Zero X Vampire is worth nothing. There was nothing really built out from that collection as opposed to just saying, hey, we're gonna sweep the floor price and that's about it. So either delist or raise the listing of your item. Another red flag that I try to avoid are NFT collections that are started or backed by influencers that have never been in the NFT space before. So again, I have no problem investing in things such as Squishy Squad as these are 
backed by competent teams that have been in the NFT space. And they're backed by influencers whose main emphasis is crypto or NFTs. So again, I have no problem investing in people like that. However, it's influencers that don't even know what an NFT is, but they know that it's trending and they can make a lot of money from it are the people that I try to stay away from. So when I do see these random influencers joining the space, starting their own collection, I do think that it's just for the money as they've never shown interest in it before. However, I think everyone knows that NFTs are trending right now and you can make millions and millions of dollars within days. And as these influencers have no NFT experience previously, I believe it's gonna be hard for them to provide utility in the long term and really bring that community together. And the final red flag that I look for are teams that curse and seem very unprofessional in their announcements. So this is the main way that people are gonna be communicating to the public or their community. And like we said before, the community is your number one asset. So when you have a lot of typos or derogatory terms in your announcements, it's really not a good look and it definitely scares a lot of investors away. So those are the red flags that I look for in teams before I invest in NFT projects. I do realize that there are some exceptions such as the Board Ape Yacht Club or CryptoPunks, but those were minted at a different time. And today when there are a lot more rug pulls and scams, I'm definitely doing a lot of research into the teams before investing my hard earned money into the collection. After being in the space for so long, you really learn the significance of the team and how to vet these collections before you invest. So those are my red flags that I look into before investing. I really hope that you guys learned something as these are lessons that I learned over a long period of time and I've lost a lot of money not doing these things. So again, I really hope you did learn something. With that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.